Or not. That, that's, it's too much to ask for. There we go. Just have to be dramatic. Um, wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, where are you? There you are. I've new, sir. Yep. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Oh, jeez. We're gonna do this dance, okay. Yep, there you go. Have fun. Have fun with your rocks. Inquisitor, if you have a moment. Yep. What is it? See for yourself, sir. <sighs> okay. This one looks like it has some story to it. Or maybe I don't. Okay. I need spider anchor. So it's not actually done. Well, um, let's go down this way. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be over there. More dark spawn. You're on our side, I guess. Just walking away from the dark spawn. Party man standing, we're finally fighting. Boop, boop. Hey. Yep. A pity the wardens moved on from this place. We'll have to deal with the dark spawn ourselves. Oh, I forgot to go grab black. Ooh, or iron bolt. Need to go. Grab him. Um, so we're dealing with Iron Ball and we're dealing with Dark Spawner, so I should have both Black Wall and Iron Bull, I guess. Weird combination, and like, like I said in last session, I don't usually like doing multiple people, or multiple. Uh, pairing up the same type of fighter. Like having one mage, one rogue, and one, uh, uh, warrior. Where is the. Switch thing, where I can like, oh hey, these aren't the people I want. Game. Okay. Oh, it's behind the flag. So that makes sense. Oh, let's bring Dorian. Actually, no, we're dealing with the coon. Let's not bring Dorian. Um. There we go. Oh, is initiating Iron Bull's quest. Okay. I don't think I quick saved. All right. Our Kunari contact should be here to meet us. He is. Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrod's reports say you're doing good work. Bull is Hisrod. Iron Bull's name is Hisrod. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrod because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I'm thrilled. It's so nice to hear friends say good things about me in their secret spy reports. He does. But they aren't really secret, are they? <laughs> Look, that. Relax. Unlike our superiors, I know how it works out here. We're in this together. You guys saw the Solus, Imperium right? is bad enough without the influence of this venatory cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tavinta, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their I'm glad you're back to an normal, army of magical freaks. We could lose the Herald and see a giant Tavinta army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatory, then signal the dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. 
Uh, where the ship has mages? There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well, if the Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. Uh, why not attack at sea? If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. Why use a small force? I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes. But it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Bull, does this work for you? What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. I gave you such weird armor. Can I talk to you? Just waiting on you and his rod up. Iron bull, I guess. Oh! I'll be waiting here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Ah, uh, you knew Iron Bull. You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Saharon. Yes, he led the group that freed me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharon, he brought me along for company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. And then you joined the Kuhn? And you decided to start following the Kuhn after that? What do you think? I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. I never heard this story. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Share the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. Is Bull in trouble? Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been. But he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean in Saharon longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. The Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides, they hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. You had trouble with the Kuhn? It sounds like following the Kuhn hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family who were still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kuhn didn't tell me what I wanted to hear. But I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. And if I leave, the parts of the Kuhn that I don't like are never going to change. How'd you end up here? How did an elf end up working for the Kunari out here? The Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. We're a little harder to spot. I've worked in Ole and Navara, but only for a few years now. And before that? What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter Forces in Saharon. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kuhn, to get past justice, to purpose. Some days are still difficult. Um, how will an alliance help me? No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Kunari will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Kunari don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Kunari troops stomping around your stronghold, and you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You get more use out of our ships, I imagine, and the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spymaster. 
Uh, I like to discuss the Kyun. Do you have a minute to talk about the Kyun? I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. But I suppose it would make for an interesting report to hear the Inquisitor's opinion of the Kyun. It's alien to me. To be honest, I don't really understand enough of the Kyun to judge it. I think you have to be raised under the Kyun for it ever to make sense. The people who join as adults either end up unhappy or... Well, for many, it's just a kind of form of slavery. I like the simplicity. I like knowing my place and knowing that it's the right place. Other parts I've struggled with myself. We'll move shortly. I'll let you know when we're ready. I await your pleasure, Inquisitor. Um, I guess it was Iron Bowl that was... that had to level up. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start. But don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage. Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just pay attention, all right? The Vince want this red lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, chief. All right, chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. <laughs> For a second, I thought I'm he was talking to, to head out, Bo. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! <laughs> they just stay there. Um, okay, I guess we're going this way. You gave your charges the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> you need to level- oh, I did not realize Gat was standing behind you. Um, oh, you got two levels up. There you go. Okay. Oh. I don't know. Am I supposed to head this way? I don't know which way you want me to head, game. Well, I guess actually maybe you don't want me heading straight. Well, you, yeah, because you pointed me in this direction. Start the quest. I'm going to assume this comes around the long way. Instead of just being like, hey, hey, can you guys just not Be jump careful. off a of cliff? My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kyun for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Uh. Two. There is more. There you are. Oh, not the one I wanted. Yeah. Okay. Oh, game, please don't crash. I don't see any tattoos, but you're carrying a staff. Are you from a chantry circle? No. And I would prefer not to discuss it. Have I done something to offend you? You joined the Kune? After they rescued me from slavery. And put you into something worse. A slave may always struggle for freedom. But you among the Kune have been taught not to think. Solus, not the time. I did not know Solus had a thing out for the Kune. Okay. Maybe I didn't completely forgot. Both things are possible. Move them. Poison's always fun. Come on. Can you make out any of your mercenaries down there? Not from here. Probably a better view once we take the Vince camp. Worried? They're my men. I've been with some of them for years. In there. Yeah, I guess you. Get ready. 
We're close. I'm glad you think we're close. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. It's a good thing I didn't just jump off a cliff. Oh, I need to stop pressing that. Oh, get off of me. Oh, oh, you're still alive. Okay. Ooh, you're level. Were you really level 16? Oof. I don't know if I misread that or not. There's still one in there. I think. You guys got this. I'm just gonna loot. I'm just gonna loot if that's okay with you guys. Always need up for. What are these? Did they explain that? I guess maybe light it on fire and drop it down in the cliff? Just filled with oil? We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the dreadnought. Charger's already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. Look at them all. There are quite a few of them. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. The Dreadnought will be sacrificed. Bull's men will be left to die. Hell, I'm letting Krem be left to dead. <laughs> but also, like, just so I know about this, and I don't know if I realized it initially, but, like, the level of threat is not obvious. Visually, it's just like, yeah, there's like five men. We've taken down like more in seconds. Like, they'll be fine. Like, these are supposed to be some of the best mercenary. And you're telling me they can't go up against like five Venatori from like one ship? Or like, why is this particular position so important when it took us seconds to take out the hard one? So like the level of threat that like, leads up to this, this decision just does not match the language or the choice. But yeah, I'm not like from die. Save your men. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. They can just walk out of there. <laughs> all these years, Hisrod, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? Me. Yeah, we can salvage this. We can make this up to your people. Ooh. No, you can't. Do I want to redo this just for the. No approval? way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Oh, when the dreadnought sinks. Sinks. Canary dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. If there's a good pause, I might just read to that, because I I played this game before. I'm okay. Eh, but might throw me immediately into another cut. I think it was just a slightly disapproval, so I'm okay. <laughs> 